Ivan Gina here and welcome to Arts with G. I'm varnishing my paintings today and I'm sharing with you some stories of each. So let's start with one of my friend Ardiana. She asked me to paint her photo so I took the chance to practice on a portrait and thanks it looks like her a bit. In 2020, during the first lockdown, everyone was so scared to go out and so was I. Imagine the days became my nights and the nights became my days. So literally, I didn't see the sunlight for the long time. I am fond of a red wine and many times I thought of painting and pouring red wine to a glass. I was hesitant at first, maybe I wasn't able to do it, but I was happy with the result and thinking of doing another one. I watched a movie this time, and I was so sad with the story. The man had a fiancé that died from cancer before their wedding. So the man was so devastated while going on with his life. And after seven years, imagine after seven years he never moved on. Every afternoon he's walking at the beach. And that was the end part which I was so touched and sad when he was slowly fading in the ocean with those colorful sky, beautiful waves, doves around, and healing sounds of the ocean. I'm so impressed with Dustin Backpack's channel. He's a foreigner in Philippines doing a great and amazing blast with a Filipino named Richie. Richie was singing the song Move On and she has a very good and got a soft and great voice. This song is available on iTunes and Amazon. So during the video, I took screenshot of the background image and I painted it. I will be including their link in the description. Please note that I'm not connected or connected or even know them. I'm so fascinated with roses and I'm always thought of painting a realistic one. While I'm working on this, I was a bit happy and inspired. This was the time the world started to open slowly. The people started going back to work and some started to travel as well. I thought I wasn't able to finish this rose because I was used with the one-stroke techniques of doing a rose. But I'm glad I did it. I hope you like it also. One of my friends sent me this photo and as per her, this is one of the most beautiful part in their place and they call it breakwater. I was amazed by the vibrant color of the sky that reflecting to the water. It was so challenging for me to paint this, especially the boats. I struggled with the boats honestly. I did three layers of the paint before I got the vibrancy of the colors. I corrected and repainted the clouds of this painting for a few times until I get tired and told to myself, that's enough, I need to finish painting the cactus. The cactus was a bit difficult because a lot of small details on it and has tiny thorns to be created that needs steady hands to do it. It took me a while to finish this art. I saw this on Instagram but at the time I was linked but I couldn't find it because this was done April 2020. this on Instagram and I love the sunflower field so I took my brushes, acrylic paint and started working on a canvas. I also want to credit the owner since I didn't able to find a page and I forgot it already. This painting was done last October 2019 
and i think this photo was in japan if i'm not mistaken i wish i could visit this wonderful place one day Another friend of mine requested this painting and I just love the beauty of the ocean so I accepted the request and the idea of fishing. I didn't even experience any fishing activity yet. This was my first art collaboration and it was one of the biggest as we were 11 artists on this event. Well, you may find this video in my previous blogs and check on the link they're all great and amazing artists check on their work also they call this place Sukwakif and the Fanarin Spiral Mosque in Doha it's one of the most tourist spot and landmark of the country a lot of locals and expat also visiting this area and I saw this postcard when I visited Sukwakib, so I bought it for my painting. I feel you pulling at my sheets, fixing all the corners at my feet. Second lockdown in Doha, and that was June 2020. We stayed home for another four weeks. And my mood that time was florals. That's when I painted this flower, but I had no canvas that time, so I used an acrylic papers. But after the painting, I put them on a frame and they look great. So you will see all of the paintings on my upcoming painting tour since 2018. Thanks everyone for watching. See ya. Bye.